Hello, hello, welcome back to Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute and easy paper butterfly. Um, and then there's like slightly different ways of finishing it off, but that's totally your choice and we'll discuss those at the end. Now what you will need is a square piece of paper, uh, which we're going to cut in half. Now, um, to be honest, you can experiment with different sizes, it doesn't really matter. I think this one is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. I'm just folding it in half like this, so that I can find that central line. I'm going to open it up again and cut along the middle. Now this therefore is no longer origami because we've cut our paper. Origami is always a square piece of paper with no cutting. Um, but I think it's still a very easy craft and it's a great introduction to origami because you use your origami skills for it. So now I'm going to turn this round, fold it in half again like so, give it a nice neat crease. And then to shape the bits up here, you can either cut or you can just fold them over. So I think both work quite well. If you fold it, you get a nice little pattern at the back. So I'm going to fold it like so. And then I'm gonna fold it over here and over here. So when you shut, it looks like this. So you could have cut it if you prefer, okay? But I think folding it is quite nice. Now I'm going to just going to fold these again. So now what you need to do is create this concertina effect. So I'm going to fold my bottom piece up to about half a centimeter's width. So this bit that's left here is half a centimeter. Get it as straight, straight as you can. And to be honest, it doesn't have to be exactly half a centimetre, it's an approximation, okay? So when you fold it over, you can see this fold here. Now you fold it down again, like so. And then you fold it up again, like so, right? And then you repeat the same on the other side. So basically you're concertinaing your paper around that central line. See, mine isn't super neat, but it will still look cute. There we go. Now fold it in half, like so. And you've got your top half of your butterfly. Now the great thing about this is you don't have to use um, origami paper, you can use any paper you've got, and you can basically recycle magazines and the like. So now you want to do basically a concertina up that way in the same distance. So a... Um, half a centimetre. There we go. Now you need to fold it in half like so. And then you need to connect your two pieces. Now if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of glue here, but it's not strictly speaking necessary. Um, but you know, I think it's fine. Now all I'm gonna use is, is a little bit of um, embroidery thread in a similar color to my paper. Now, if you don't have embroidery thread, you can use normal thread, you can use pipe cleaners, um, you can use ribbons like I've done with the purple one over here. So again, it's one of those things you just have to have a look, see what you have around the house, um, and then you tie a knot, and then you can wiggle the knot up. I want it up because then I think this makes quite a good little bit of string for hanging. Trim the little edge, like so. Open up your wings, and you have your very own butterfly. Wasn't that simple? So easy. And you've got a little string to hang it from. Now, of course, you can trim that if you don't like it. Or here's an example, just so you can see, you can uh, use some ribbons and leave them as little um, antennae for your butterfly, or you can use some pipe cleaner. Basically, as always, have a look what you've got at home and just make your butterflies. Aren't they lovely? Now, don't forget, I've got some other origami butterflies that involve no cutting, so proper origami. 
do check those out as well. I think they're really lovely. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoy these oh so simple little butterflies. See you again soon. Bye.